Hey everybody, welcome back here to A Place to Heal. My name's Marie, and it's been a minute or two since I've done a video in this room too. <laughs> kind of weird. I was gonna do it outside. I've been wanting to do a video outside for a while, and um, it started raining today. We started getting weird weather. So, so much for that, maybe the next one. All right, so I've been promising you guys and promising you guys and promising you guys that I was gonna tell you about an herb for your liver. It's like the forgotten herb. This herb has been around for centuries. They actually have found like, uh, you know, paintings on caves and stuff where they, it actually has the leaf, um, the leaf of this plant and they've been using it that long rate originates from Chile. Now let me tell you, you know, when I first started this journey, um, I had a lot of liver issues. I had like fatty liver and cirrhosis and oh my gosh, I couldn't even digest food. It was horrible. And everybody always suggested milk thistle. And I milk thistled myself to death. And let me tell you, it just, I think that <laughs> milk thistle I mean, there are some of you out there that might disagree with me, but I think that milk thistle is one of the biggest wastes of money out there. Number one, you know, it's um, unless you crush it up and make it into a powder, um, it it's like a seed, right? It's like a hard seed. So everybody just boils it and then drinks it. And it's like, unless you actually like any other seed, um, unless you actually um, go in there and crack that seed, all the nutrients are on the inside. So unless you have a coffee grinder and you can crush it and make it into a powder and then make it into a tea, it's pretty much worthless. My, section, my second option was dandelion. That is actually my favorite. I love dandelion. I love what it does. And I actually almost ended up killing myself. <laughs> you know, it's like when, when you're doing stupid detox stuff. I started craving dandelion one summer so bad. I have friends that can attest to this. I know they're out there watching me right now and laughing. And I started, I was like, I couldn't get enough dandelion. I mean, I like literally craved it. I was picking out in my yard and I was making these huge smoothies, but I'm talking, I wasn't using like a handful of dandelion. I mean, I was using like gob full of leaves. And I was doing this day after day. And the next thing I know, um, I had started moving so much bile that it was like, I couldn't urinate. <laughs> I couldn't go to the bathroom at all without passing all this yellow bile and I couldn't stop it and I was like oh my god I'm gonna kill myself <laughs> you know but so you kind of have to be careful with dandelion because it, it, it is a strong a very strong herb and this one that I want to tell you about is even stronger so you have to be um, very careful if you're going to use this herb this herb has been used for centuries. It comes from Chile and it's called Boldo, B-O-L-D-O. And it's been used for gallstones. It's been used for um, rheumatism. It's been used for, gall uh, for bladder infections. If you have urinary tract infections or bladder infections, it's been used for liver disease. Um, it kills bacteria within the liver, within the bile ducts, within the bladder. So it's excellent for that. It increases bile flow and it releases any trapped fat within the liver. So it's great for cirrhosis. And it's even been used for gonorrhea for centuries. So that, that's how strong it is. It origin, Like I said, it originates from Chile but they use it a lot in Peru. And the way that this got started was that there was a shepherd that um, ended up having a property and within that property, there were uh, boldo uh, bushes, which is a very slow, slow growing bush. And he started noticing that his flock would get healthier and healthier every time that he took them, he took them up there 
to that spot on the property and they would eat the boldo leaves. So he, they, that's how it started getting into a tea. Now in Chile and Peru and things like that, boldo is a very bitter tea. So what they do is um, they mix it. Yerba mate is, um, and if you have adrenal issues, I don't suggest yerba mate. Yerba mate is, um, it's a, it's a clean energy tea. It's, it speeds you up. It's, it's got caffeine in it, but it's a clean caffeine. It doesn't really affect the adrenals as much as I like, let's say tea or coffee would, but it's mixed with, it, it's very bitter. Boldo is very bitter. So it, they mix it with yerba mate, which is a very mellow, um, sweet tasting tea. And that way they can get, you know, they can cut down um, the taste a little bit. It's definitely a lot of people say that they cannot drink it without adding some sort of sweetener to it. Um, I think lemon definitely makes it taste a lot better, but I, for some reason, I just love the smell of it. It's like, I don't know. It has a very familiar, friendly, I, I just, I don't know. I, I've smelled it somewhere. I, I, I love the smell of it. So that's um, that's my point on it. So I like to add lemon to mine and I think it kind of mellows out that bitterness a little bit. Um, one of the things that I do want to tell you about this is that number one, if you're on blood thinners, this is a no-go because this tea will actually thin out your blood and, and help all those um, arteries to flow better. So you do not want to take this if you are on any sort of like curcumin or anything like that, any kind of sort of blood thinners you or you have issues um, with easy bleeding and you don't don't want to take this because it's it's not the right choice for you. I would go with dandelion instead. And it has like 17 alkaloids in it. It's excellent. But along with those 17 alkaloids, it does contain a toxic chemical. So you cannot use it for long periods of time or consume it in high dosages. So usually what I do is like today is Friday and I'm having mine. It's the end of the week. I'm done doing my workouts, everything else. I want to release the flat, the fat out of my liver. I want to get that blood flow going so I can get ready for the gym next week and get all my arteries cleaned out. And, you know, it's excellent if you have any kind of, um, you know, stomach issues because it really does calm um, the stomach, the colon, you know, like especially if you have like irritable bowel and it's just going insane. This is awesome for it. But like I said, you have to be very careful with it because it's very, it's a very strong herb. This is one of those herbs that you do not want to play around with, which is probably the reason why a lot of people don't put it out there. Okay. So you have to be very um, intelligent when you're using this herb. You don't want to use it every day. Like I said, it's Friday. I drink it on Fridays because it's time to clean out. It's time to clean my liver clean that excess fat that I've had for the week out of my liver, all that other good stuff, get my blood flowing real good. And in case sometimes it does, um, you know, it does create extra bowel movements or um, it, you know, some people can have like a diuretic effect with it or um, a diarrhea effect with it. So you definitely, um, you know, like tonight, I don't care, tomorrow's Saturday, I'm good. So that's that's when I drink it. So you can usually pick it up. It's pretty it's pretty available at most places. Um sometimes you can you can you'll be able to find it in at sprouts or um certain herbal markets or anything else. This packet I think I picked up at I'm pretty sure it was at sprouts. This is actually just it's the tea bag is just, I have no idea where this tea came from. <laughs> like, I don't know where, what's in it, you know? It's like, I don't know. So, yeah, it comes in the little tea bags, and then you just pop it in. Um, I actually will have it up on the website. 
You can usually pick up a packet like this. This is like not even 0 0.40 ounce for eight bags. And you're gonna pay about 250 for it. I actually was able to get a hold of some wild crafted um, boldo. And this is actually an ounce. And these are the, this is not the powder. These are the actual leaves. So you would use even less. You actually um, would use, it says one or two teaspoons per cup of boiling water. I would probably only use one teaspoon. And this will be up on the website. I'll put the link below. I don't know how long I'll have it up on the website. I have very limited amounts of it. And once it's gone, more than likely it will be gone because the chances of me being able to get any more wild crafted boldo is probably going to be like zip to zero. Um, you know, unless the person wants to be nice and the supplier, but I don't see that happening. So if you want, it's, um, it's going to be $8.99 and it's, you get an actual ounce. So it's a pretty good size bag and it's wild crafted boldo and it's the actual leaves not the powder, not in the tea bags. You actually get the whole thing. So, like I said, I don't know how long it will be up there and I have very, very limited quality quantities. Um, I, I'm usually not into, um, excuse me, <coughs> I'm usually not into selling teas on the website. That's just not my um, thing, but I love this one and I love what it does and I love how it makes I love how it makes my colon feel, <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> it's like, I guess I'm very in tune to my body. So the slightest little things, especially when it comes to my liver or my kidneys or my spleen, I can feel it. And Boldo is one of those that I can drink it and it's like my colon goes, oh, thank you. And then my whole body just kind of goes, Oh, and it kind of starts shutting down and I start feeling very mellow and it's like, yeah, I love it. So there you go. <laughs> That's my tip for this Friday. I personally love it. It's just like I said, you have to know how to use it. Don't get stupid and think you know, along those lines of, well, if one teaspoon is good, 10 teaspoons is better because 10, spoon, 10 teaspoons will get you a trip to the ER. It's not a good idea with Baldo. Uh, it's also not a good idea with dandelion <laughs> from what I learned. <laughs> but anyway, so you get my idea. And so, like I said, if you're interested, it's on the website. Otherwise, um, you can pick up um, Baldo at most, most, um, most herbal stores, um, some some of them are pretty hip to it. Some of them are not. Some of them have never heard it. Um, and then you'd be surprised at some of the places you can find it. But anyway, all right. So I'm getting some stuff together right now. And hopefully I will have some more interesting videos for you. I'm trying to, um, like I told you earlier in a couple of videos, I'm trying to see if I can get certified um, as a personal trainer, there's a lot of nutrition that comes along with that. So I'm learning all these, all this nutritional stuff and it's like I'm being overloaded right now with information and it's just like, I'm going crazy, but I'm going to try to put this stuff together and I'm going to try to bring it to you in a very common sense sort of way, because I know there's a lot of people out there that want to lose the weight. Um, and there's more than one way to do that. You know, I mean, I did videos on dry fasting and I lost a lot of weight that way. Um, unfortunately, you know, there's, I, I wasn't working out because I dry fasted. Oh my God, I don't even want to admit this. My friends would kill me. I dry fasted, I fasted for 40 days and I ate no food. And I only drank like 20 ounces of water a day. So I could not work out. <laughs> I'm on a death mission. What can I say? It's like if it comes to detoxing, it's like, yeah, I'm nuts when it comes to that. But I now if I could do it all over again, 
ah, I don't know if, if I would take that route because I wanted to lose the weight. I needed to lose the weight, but you know, I ended up having all this um, extra skin and I've had to work three times harder at the gym to turn, tone all that up, you know, and I'm watching these women at the gym who are, who were three times the size that I was and they're out there, you know, doing the weights and everything else. And I'm like, oh man, how nice. They're going to be all nice and firm by the time they're done. They don't have to do double the work, but it just happens. But I mean, it's working. I'm just having to work twice as hard as the average person. So there are different ways to lose weight. And um, another way to lose weight is, um, you know, watching your macros and, you know, your proteins, your fats, your carbohydrates. And I'm going to bring you some videos. This is not for the advanced bodybuilder. So stand back, guys. <laughs> this is just for those people out there that are, you know, as naive as I was when I first started. And it's like, I don't know how to do this. And I want to help you guys because I know there's a lot of people out there because I get tons and tons of emails and uh, stuff constantly. It's like, what do you eat? What do you eat? What do you eat? I mean, that's all I ever hear. So I'm going to bring that to you. And, um, and, and also a little bit of common sense so you can understand food a little better because I think there's a lot of misconception around food. So please stay tuned, subscribe. That's coming your way, you know, and I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep these videos coming at you with all, all this great information. So till next time, please, once again, stay happy. I've had a crazy week. Can you tell? Um, please stay happy, stay healthy, try the boldo at least once. I think your liver will thank you for it. And, uh, your colon will also thank you for it. And, uh, till next time, once again, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being there. Thank you for the comments, for all the support and everything else. And thank you for watching till next time. Bye-bye.